Pull it in. Letting go. Pull it in. Letting go. Pull it in. Letting go. Hi, Ulrich. It's great. We're doing one together. We are doing one together. And it's such a joy to talk about Wim Hof and the Wim Hof yes. Method uh, <laughs> with you. Um, I, uh, you know, um, what prompted you to um, put Wim Hof on the top list of heroes for this year? Um, as we have just had this wonderful interview that uh, we want to present to people, um, I think people would like to know why you are so interested now in Wim Hof and what it can give to them. So I believe of any teacher or educator who can help our subscribers and our audience the most be successful in 20, uh, in, in 22 in next year. So, so who's teaching, whose leadership can most help you be successful for the next year, it's Wim Hof. Wow. And it's interesting, this last week, two people asked me what breathing exercises I was using. And so when I responded by saying Wim Hof, but with this huge smile, and as soon as I said Wim Hof, they burst out into smiling because they both use Wim Hof too. Wow. And, and, but, but that happens with you. Whenever you say Wim Hof, people just start to smile. <laughs> <laughs> I so agree. Such a wonderful yeah. person, such life right. and happiness he brings. That's I can't... Well, one of my favorite sermons, the preacher says, speak life into your situation. And Wim Hof is somebody who in a very concrete, practical, economic way is speaking life into people's situation in a way that can make an enormous difference. Because we're going into an environment where access to health care is going to be problematic. And this is somebody who, you know, can teach you a way of dramatically improving the strength of your immune system. Uh, and, and, he, and he's doing it in a way which is entirely free. <laughs> <laughs> so it's wholly economic. And, but he also, you know, I think many people are depressed by the number of people around them who are making money by killing them. Mm -hmm. And so it's always wonderful to see an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and a family who is building an enduring presence and business, helping millions and millions of people and doing it with complete spirit of generosity. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Beautiful, yes. I yeah. can't uh, agree more. And in after the interview, I've added a little science section so uh, people will understand that this is really proven science that there is right. this effect on the immune system and we can use this. We just have to do it. Wim often says you don't have to do it alone, but you have to do it yourself. So <laughs> to go into this practice and stay with it, even though you will probably go through certain phases of, you know, more or less interest, uh, stay with it. I've stayed with it for years now. I do only cold showers in the morning and I know that uh -huh. you have uh, uh, started to do that and the breathing. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Uh, the effect is, is phenomenal. Uh, so I just have to mention one thing. If you are someone like Wim Hof, it is beyond challenging to subject yourself to to months and months and months and years and years and years of skepticism, education, testing, working with doctors and scientists. And the proof of his commitment to help people be well and healthy yes. is that he has endured an immense amount of scientific analysis of his methods and of course been proven absolutely right. Yes. And one of the great, you did a, I thought you did a great section to add on to the interview. So if you just stay on after the interview, you'll, you'll see it. But you see some of those scientists and doctors just, you know, and it was really funny. I was looking at one of the papers from the doctor in San Francisco and I was saying, 
you know, I bet she does Wim Hof because she looks great. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. Right. It's all about sign- aging. And uh, that actually is an interesting cue because um, her work and what is coming out um, in future books and uh, science studies about Wim Hof is showing that the genetics and epigenetics are also affected. And right. perhaps um, for, uh, to, for people to become aware that there is a connection to to the wave genome um, uh, material Absolutely. also. And I think it's important to make that connection because we are not only learning um, a strengthening of the immune system, but we are learning or giving a tool to discover more about reality and also to have right. a, a technology of the mind to deal with reality. And right. reality is changing in front of our eyes and we have to be very equipped um, to, to cope with what is happening. And, and to, and to take advantage of what's happening because the opportunities, you know, I call it the magic that comes in dangerous time. The opportunities are opening up now that that they're you know there's sort of a crack in the in the fixed okay. you know established order and and so now it's interesting i uh, if you if you haven't i just beg you if you have not watched the wave genome these this holiday season is a perfect time to take the time to go to the future science series and watch the wave genome because it will teach you so much about how our reality really works. And, and what Wim Hof does is it reminds me of a, of a nun I once heard talk about. She was a teacher and she would calm her classroom down and bring them to coherence by saying, she would have them use their hands and she would say, come to your power, come to your power. And what Wim Hof is showing us is that we have mentally, emotionally, physically, far more power than we dream of. And that's why if you watch Wave Genome, you will see how what he's saying and the science of what Ulrich has been teaching us about how our physical and invisible realities really work, you will discover sort of a a pathway to significantly increase your own physical, mental, and emotional power. Yeah, and I would even yeah. add the spiritual. And what you're saying about the invisible, I think this is where we um, globally almost we are. We need to get equipped. Um, the right. the 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 groups behind the scenes that are orchestrating a lot of what is happening now, they know more than the chemical material nature. They also know about this, this vibratory energy nature. And right. this is what we can access through breath. Um, maybe um, just a, a, a side note, the ancient Indian uh, uh, philosophies and uh, scriptures they were speaking about the fact that we have more than one body. We have a gross material mm-hmm. body, but we also have an energy body. And they called it Pranamaya Kosha, which is a body of breath. So with the, with the conscious breathing, we go into experiencing this reality and we will learn so much intelligence from that world of uh, acoustics and epigenetics and um, and electromagnetic energy exchange that is always around us. And only if we have an awareness of this, will we also know where we are manipulated. Right. And for one of the aspects of, uh, if you practice the breathing and the cold, and you realize uh, you will go into that brainstem, that limbic system uh, areas of the mind, as is just a little bit detailed in the in the science section of the video, you begin to realize that this is how to deprogram mind control programs because yeah, this yeah, is yeah, exactly yeah. where we are mind controlled in the living limbic system. If we can right. consciously go there and change through a uh, a a type of a complete reset of the hormonal and neurotransmitter system, then um, there will be a clarity and we will become aware of how to differentiate 
between our own reality and that which is imposed right. upon us. And I think that's right. so important for the future. So um, I'm just about to record my reflections for the year. And I say the most important thing we have to do in 2022 is reach out to help the people who've been harmed by COVID-19, yes. by the restrictions, by uh, the withholding of therapies, by the injections, by related depression and death. And I really believed when I was choosing Hero of the World, what is the thing that we could use to help all of these people um, and help them find a positive way forward? And I can't think of anything better than what Wim Hof is teaching as something, because it's, it's so economic and it's so doable, everybody can do it. Now, I say that, and as you know, I resisted mightily doing this. <laughs> everybody <laughs> would. I mean, the cold is um, a strange uh, reality. And yet, once, I mean, I'm, I'm the same, uh, you know, to go out into the cold. And now I realize, oh, it's, it's simply another state of consciousness. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's funny because, you know, I love, there's nothing I love more than a hot tub or a warm shower in the morning. And so I really resisted this. But, you know, I always say, those who know me know, I always say, well, Ulrich says this and she's always right. So <laughs> I kept telling people I have to do the Wim Hof method because Ulrich's right. And then I had this horrible boating accident. I was really sort of, I, 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 it was the first time I'd experienced chronic pain on an extended basis. And I said, okay, I've got to get radical. I've got to do something. And I said, well, oh, it's always right. So Wim Hof had come out with this new book, The Wim Hof Method. And I should say, as part of our Christmas donation, we've offered to send 50 copies for free mm -hmm. to any subscriber who puts in a support ticket and says, you know, I've been hurt by COVID-19, the restrictions, the injections, send me a copy. So we will, you know, we have the book sitting on the shelf. Let us know. We'll send you the copy. Anyway, so I read the Wim Hof Method book, and I think that book has, you know, they've upped their game in terms of explaining the whole method and how to do it. It's a, it's a really wonderful book to read. Anyway, so that got me started, and one of the things that helped me the most was I learned I could do the cold shower after the warm shower. <laughs> yeah. so, so I'm still doing the warm shower first, that's, but um, that's okay. I, I, I found within short order, I couldn't believe it, that my ener I had I had 10 to 15 percent more energy almost immediately every day from doing it. And, um, and I look forward to the cold showers now. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I can't believe it. Yes. I look forward to it. Yeah. Yes. And I would yeah. say uh, to the subscribers or listeners um, that, you know, that Catherine is always right. Uh, she has been proven <laughs> right over decades. So if if she asks you and recommends this uh, to all of us to do this, um, I know that Catherine has this intuitive um, a homing in on the real problem and the real solutions. Uh, so I hope that um, most subscribers will give it a try, do the breathing and the cold, and see what it does to you. So I just wanted to say one other thing about Wim Hof, and it's one of the reasons why, you know, now I was doing the breathing on my own, but now I listen to Wim Hof's, you know, I listen to one of his apps to, you know, in the morning to do it along, and that is, you know, Getting accurate information from somebody you don't trust is very different than getting it from somebody you trust. Mm -hmm. And if you look at how Wim Hof has developed his methods and he's lived this me his methods, he's a person of extraordinary integrity. And receiving the information from somebody with that level of integrity has an impact. But part of the impact is, you know, our... Our world does not have to be like this. Imagine a mm -hmm. world where we are governed by leaders who really want the best for all of us. Mm -hmm. And you get this sense, you get this feeling of possibility when you are listening to Wim Hof or with Wim Hof when we went to do the interview. You know, we can raise up people like this who want the best for us mm -hmm. And what a world that would feel like. What a possibility that is. Oh. And so one of the things that gives me hope, you know, it's the same thing that used to happen to me whenever I used to watch Sir James Goldsmith explain globalization. 
you know, imagine a world where this guy was our president. Yeah. You know, imagine a world where Wim Hof was the health minister. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> We'd all be so healthy, you know, there'd be no, the ministry yeah. would shut down. Yeah. Anyway, but... Um, it's like, but in he, fact, of ourselves. This in yes. internal alchemist, as he would say, it's the, it's the pharmacy of the brain that, right. um, that can, can do the whole health ministry worldwide. Right, right. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's both what he can teach us and how that can help us and how we can grow but it's also experiencing the authenticity of his leadership and his desire to teach that is very healing given what we're dealing with. Beautiful. Yeah. And that yeah. makes him real, the hero. Of yeah. Yeah. He's, he's definitely a hero mm -hmm. anyway. So hero of the year. And so now we begin your, your great interview. We got in the car. <laughs> What a great road trip this was. We got in the car. I couldn't believe it, Ulrich. So Wim Hof is arguably one of the busiest men on the planet right now. And so getting an interview with Wim Hof is impossible. But uh, you can tell he, you know, you two have a chemistry and you got the interview. So we immediately all piled in the car with the photographer and the video cameras and all the equipment and, and drove about two hours south and interviewed Wim Hof at his compound. And it was really a magical experience mm -hmm. is the only way I can describe it. Mm -hmm. It was really, and so I thank you very much for that. And I know everybody's gonna enjoy this very much, so. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Wim Hof. Yes. Thank you so much for allowing us to come here to your center in Stroh. We are uh, having this conversation for the Solari Report. My name is Ulrike Granüger, and you know me from the Solari Future Science um, Department on the Solari Report. It's my great honor, honestly, my honor to speak with you, uh, Wim Hof. You know, you're not just a, the kindest and one of the wisest human beings that I have met, but also you are someone who has um, already in his lifetime achieved a paradigm shift of science and medicine. And may, most people may not have heard of this, that there is this enormous breakthrough in science that you have achieved and you have proven in the textbooks. Um, but today we want to talk a little bit about this. And we do this in the context of the Solari Report. Um, also, as Catherine Austin Fitz has um, everybody uh, advised to show, uh, uh, to read this book. Um, she wants all of her subscribers to dive into the Wim Hof method and to benefit from um, its um, elements um, for health and for also for coherence of mind, for unity in uh, social relations and for an ability to make better decisions for the future. Uh, we are going into a world, as you all know, um, that may be controlled by passports that the global banking system is going to impose on everybody. And as Catherine um, Fitz has said in Milan and in Bern only recently, um, the, uh, these passports will take away the assets not only from those who are healthy or who are vaccinated, but also from those who are unvaccinated and from and vice versa, from not only from those who refuse to join the system, but also from those who comply with the system. This is going to be a major shift in the future. And so we are at the point where we need to find new ways of finding medicine in ourselves. And who better now to talk to about medicine of the future, literally a science of the future, um, than Wim Hof, who has uh, shown to be the laboratory uh, in his own body. So Wim Hof, thank you once again for doing this with us. Um, I would like to ask you, so there are three elements in your um, technique. Yes. It's the cold exposure, it's the breathing technique, and we will later go to the mindset and to the soul, yes. uh, because I feel this is uh, more, even more important. 
Um, but let's first go to the cold. What does the cold exposure, why, you know, most people, they, they are really, uh, uh, they shun the cold. They are not happy to take a cold shower and uh, let me not uh, do that. Why should we all try this out? Yes. What does it do to, in the physiology? In the physiology, it uh, brings our world suddenly in connection with a, a, a much deeper control. And this is actually the way nature meant it to be. And uh, what I mean with that, uh, we are built to endure environmental stress upon our bodies. Only when we began to think and industrialize everything and make extension tools, suddenly we got into a comfort zone behavior, which is the extension of what we think. And our thinking is not necessarily the deepest of our brain where uh, uh, emotions live, where pain lives, where the purpose of life lives. It, it's not there, it's all what we think, and we think we can control nature, but we cannot control happiness, strength, and health. No money can buy happiness, strength, and health. You can get to that through exposing yourself in a slight discomfort of a cold shower, how simple it is. We found the keys to tap into the deeper uh, realms of Mother Nature's capacities in us to become happy, strong, and healthy, which is the hormonal system, the immune system, the energy systems, uh, up to cell level, even into the DNA past time, into our ancestry. We are able to tap in at will, and that is the autonomic nervous system. At will, we are able to tap in where in science was thought for humans it is impossible to tap into. And that is our happiness. Something, oh, where is happy? Yeah, it occurs, you don't know. No, it's a part of the hormonal system. We are able to enter into that deeply, further than in science was thought or possible. So the cold, the cold tackles two things. Cold shower a day, keeps the doctor away. It's what I always say, make it simple, be simple, just do it. Uh, the cold is able to train 100,000 kilometers in uh, each and every one of us, our millions of little muscles. They help the blood flow go through much better. It's a great exercise. You can do it. No, uh, you have no excuse. 100 years is the woman who is the oldest who is doing this. She is dancing in the cold. Her sister is doing it as well. She's 98. Hey, do you, uh, oh, it's so cold. Hey, man, don't, don't, no excuses. This is the greatest for, uh, thing you can do for your cardiovascular system. So what, it, what I think it is, is that um, we have uh, thousands of miles of vascular, uh, of blood. 70,000 miles. In, throughout the body, of every of one of arteries, of veins, of capillaries, and yes. each one of them is motioned or moved by little tiny little muscles around them. And this is now being trained. This is activated. It's like a massage of each of and, the. And you know what happens then? The heart rate goes down because it doesn't need to compensate for the loss of condition of the muscular tone of the mm. vascular system. So it's suddenly it. 20 to 30, and at the heart rate too much accelerated uh, creates a signal to the liver to, uh, uh, for cortisol activation and uh, glucose. And, uh, and that's why we always uh, in these thoughts, and uh, we cannot even sleep. We don't know. We go too fast for our yeah. body. Yeah. Yay. How simple it is, huh? And so stress goes down, energy goes up. You better take the cold shower. Why? Because bloody, bloody, you know, blood, uh, yeah. bloody good. Yeah. And you, you know, there's um, all kinds of videos and uh, the Wim Hof Method website does a wonderful job of offering um, certain courses which you can do to, to do gradual. But it is also for nothing. Eh? It is uh, just for free. Yeah. Health is for free. You just got to do it. That's, that's the missionary in Vim. It's actually for free. And he does this from his pure heart. 
Um, but I do advise you to go to the website and look at these uh, videos to um, to learn how to approach longer. If you want to come see me, man, that's yeah. a course that needs to be organized. The flights, the this, the that, the blah, blah, and the blow, blow. Hey, man, that, you got to pay something. Yeah, sorry. But if you look good, it's for free. So it's the it's the cold that is training the vascular system. We know that the most the greatest uh, killer in um, the world is the cardiovascular diseases, and this can be avoided if we only start early enough. And um, that that it is it is a, a preventative yeah. medicine to the best. It's a killer for the pharmaceutical industry. I'm sorry. But even for the people working in the car pharmaceutical industry, this is the best thing you can do for yourself. It's much better than money. You were speaking about hormetic stress or hormesis. So this is a reduced level of stress in order to train. Um, could you say more about that? What is Self-inflicted acute stressful exercise. Just do the breathing, the breathing exercises, which is able <laughs> So this is amazing. They compared the amount of adrenal, uh, adrenaline spike. A person who goes for the first time in fear into his bungee jump, being taken the blood, they've compared it to people doing this breathing exercise in 20 minutes. It uh, appears to be that the adrenal spike in the people doing the breathing exercises is almost as twice as high as a person who goes in fear into his first bungee jump. This imagine is, that. Imagine that. This that is, is so powerful in your brain. You, you're actually high on your own supply doing this breathing. Wow. Oh, what do I see now? Wow. But in your reptilian brain, your brainstem, the survival brain, which is reactive, doesn't think. It's reactive. It's, uh, certain things happen in the body. You don't breathe suddenly anymore for two minutes, maybe three minutes, three and a half minutes. And uh, 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 then in the brainstem, the reactive part of the brain is, oh, it's going to die. You just got kind to of blow the adrenaline. Boom. It's like a shot of adrenaline straight into the heart after a heart attack. I mean, the, this resets the, uh, the body so strongly that, that and then we are suddenly past this conditioned comfort zone behaviorism kind of condition of uh, uh, conditioning of our body and mind. And then we can experience suddenly so much deeper. Maybe you see your ancestors. You can hallucinate. You have spiritual moments. You have such a deep peace yeah, that recites all past our conditioned mind. And we have to change it and show that it is as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Just breathe. And so that's the second part of the technique um, of the Wim Hof method is in addition to the cold exposure, which has all kinds of physiological um, effects, you have the breathing technique. And um, I have to say one thing more yes. about the breathing. We showed in a study to bring down endotoxin as E. coli bacteria, virus, bacteria, it all causes inflammation. And they uh, doing these breathing exercises, it showed within... 15 minutes to bring down the inflam uh, inflammation uh, uh, strongly, which normally is done after five to uh, uh, seven days with flu. Then the inflammation suddenly is being brought down. It's the activation of the specific immune system. We can do that now in 15 minutes. Just dive into it, look into it. If I'm saying bullshit, prove me that I'm saying bullshit, because this shit works, man. It works for you, for the president, for the queen, for the carpenter, for anybody. Especially at the time of a pandemic where we all are in fear of a virus and of inflammation and infection. So um, I would like to- And so, once again, it's for free. Not 25 cent breath. Two dollar fifty breath. No, no, it's it's, it's dead. It is. Take it on. The light force is here, and now we found the bridges. We found the connections. We found the insights and, and understandings. It's there, and you got the autonomy to take it on, and feel that sense of autonomy. 
to be ruling over your biochemistry, your cardiovascular beautiful system, and any other system inside. You are the alchemist. Yes. Wim, a few moments about the Red Bout study. This is the one that you just mentioned. It's, um, it is the one that actually is rewriting the textbooks. But I know that you're in, in cooperation with other universities and more scientific studies, science is working slowly, are on, um, on the platform uh, to show more of this effect. But this one we can actually talk about how there was endotoxins injected not only in Wim's body, who was able to overcome all the immune reaction, not a single trace of um, fever, um, of uh, raised heartbeat. All over agony, so uncontrolled shivering, uh, uh, fever, headaches, uh, back aches, uh, muscle aches. That is caused by E. coli bacteria. Real E. coli bacteria are able, to, uh, they can be lethal. And so this is a controlled experiment, uh, uh, three to six hours inflammation, strong inflammation going to a peak, then coming down slowly. That's the way it normally goes. So after 16,134 people being subjected to the endotoxemia, the E. coli bacteria injected, three to six hours controlled experiment, they all became sick. And then uh, 12 people I trained uh, uh, within four days, they did not become sick. And there we changed science. We, we changed our uh, understanding of what humans are capable of against inflammation. And inflammation it, that it kills every year in Western society all over the world, 60 to 70,000 uh, uh, million, million people. Uh, COVID, 5 million, 60 to 70 million people every year. And nobody is talking about it, but we found a way to bring down the cause and effect of that disease, which is inflammation. And with that, not only 60 to 70 million people's uh, cause and effect inflammation, we bring uh, also the uh, ability to improve in quality your own life, to have autonomy over deeper levels of yourself, unknown, unprecedented. It's all there, doesn't cost a penny. And it was possible in four days to train uh, these young men who did, this, they did not know about um, how to do this before. Everybody can do that. All of us can do that. And we don't have to prove science. We only have to prove to ourselves that we can remain healthy and functional in a world that is uh, changing in front of our eyes. So um, I think this, so we have the, the cold, we have the breath. Why do we bring both of them together? What, what is happening within us? Um, the way I see it, and maybe you, you can expand on this or uh, say differently, the way I see it is that the cold, of course it has this physiological effect, but it is also that, that, that fear factor that I'm now um, uh, uh, confronting. And with my breath, I come to that, to that cold as this, this darkness or this fear or this sadness or whatever is going on in my life. And I begin to confront this and I begin to take control in that moment of my breath. And that then changes the physiology, the chemical, the biochemical reaction. And suddenly I realize well, whatever there is darkness, whatever fear, whatever sadness or danger there is, I can deal with it. Is that about? Mm. Yeah, there's a beautiful philosophical view of it. Uh, if you look at the biochemistry, uh, alkalinity in the body, which is caused by deeper breathing, uh, is able to, uh, to disentangle the, the trimeres causing the pain signal. The temperature and, uh, and pain signals are very close together in the, our system, and they are being activated through, uh, uh, through say, the cold. Then, uh, because of the cold is there, it influences in the, to the temperature sensors, uh, who are close to the uh, trimeres, uh, uh, the, the, the monomeres of the pain signal coming together. And that creates a pain signal. And we don't have control over pain. That's why we are, uh, are in fear. 
say, over the cold, over the heat, of going into the discomfort. We, uh, because we have no, uh, we have never learned to have control over that. And now we have found the control. And the control is deeper breathing, by which the body is becoming alkaline. And with that, the alkalinity causes the biochemistry of the neurology to go and adapt quick. And then there is no danger. But in our subconscious, we know we are not connected uh, to all that, and we don't know how it works. So we become a victim at that moment, and oh, it's all happening. Oh, so hot. Oh, so hot. Oh, it's so uh, emotionally bad. And uh, we don't have a deeper control over ourselves no more because we have no control over our life force. And the life force is here. That's the life force. We want your neurology of your brain, which is neurosignaling, uh, together where you are the captain of your own ship, your own body. But it needs to be connected. That's done through uh, the alkalinity caused by the biochemical change through that. Have confidence and try it out. And then you suddenly see you're sitting there in the cold water. I see cold water. I go, go, no, relax. And suddenly you're able to sit prolonged times, making jokes and using warming up techniques like farts. And maybe a little pee in the water. Don't tell nobody. That's a warming up technique. Don't make it ever too difficult to no more. We have found a way to connect with our biochemistry in the depth, controlling our neurology through our neurosignaling, which is our will. And with that, we become the alchemists or simply able to regulate our own mood uh, to fire up the, or boost the immune system when it is uh, needed and uh, have a load of energy and we don't know even so much energy it's there and always at our disposal that's the way the body really works it's not the way we have learned it but now we come here and teach you it's there it's we simple don't have to protect it and all here the time. it is Mm -hmm. And this is what is happening in the center of the brain, isn't it? It's exactly entering that brain stem, entering the hypothalamus, and that, that whole axis um, of controlling the biochemistry consciously. And uh, this is what meditators do, uh, what uh, happy people do, and what healthy people do. I can tell you meditation, and uh, they have compared medita uh, in brain scans med meditators for four hours a day for years. And then people doing 10 minutes of this breathing, they enter, the people doing this breathing are able to enter in deeper realms of the brain than the meditators four hours a day for years. Yes, I believe you fully. So yeah. that, 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 uh, see, I'm sorry that it is so simple. No courses anymore, no Vipassana, this and that, but all this pa pa Vipassana on. Uh, just breathe. I always say very eloquently, it's sort of French. It's, I say, breathe, motherfucker. You know why? Because you are always thinking, 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 thinking. No, it's no thing. But they made us complicated uh, into thinking all the time. That doesn't, that doesn't leave us alone. Even when we want to go to sleep, we are beginning to think about all kinds of shitty thoughts, whatever, in you till there we are. I want deep peace when I go to sleep. And great dreams, beautiful dreams. And when I wake up, I'm full of energy. That's the way I want to feel. That's behind the words, behind the thoughts. A great being because my body is fully energized. And that's the breathing doing. So get aligned with your mind. Because the mind we have shown in brain scans to be able to be accessed into the deepest of the deepest of the brain, which was also thought of inaccessible. And now it is there. And then uh, Professor Music says in a, a new book of uh, Scott Carney, an investigative journalist, he says, Wim Hof has found a secret of placebo. Uh, placebo is no longer 
It is you willfully being able to heal yourself. It's only logic. You uh, have all the capacities uh, to heal yourself and your ancestral trauma. To go, therefore, into the DNA with the same neural signaling. Do the breathing. Alkalize the body. Biochemistry, uh, neurology is like light, electricity. It goes on when uh, the body is alkaline. I mean, uh, we keep it simple. It is simple. I'm sorry, it's not difficult and complicated and all this and that, 20 years of yogic training and all that. No, no, I'm sorry. Simple, there, boom. Within the half hour, you are able to get into the uh, ancestral trauma, into the gene expressions, uh, into the deregulated uh, closed up proteins of those genes and take it out. And you know what happens? Oh, big things happen. Your ancestors will be very happy because they roam around here. And they ask, hey, can you free us? Because we couldn't in our lives. You got that responsibility. That's the soul. You are the one who brings the freedom. You see that? You feel, if you don't understand it yet, oh, it's too far a fetch. Sorry, I just did the DNA research with the top researchers of the world. And it's all there. We are able to tap into uh, visibly with microscopes, electronic microscopes, etc. We are able to go 13 generations before. The native so ah, bless you, seven generations before. And the seven generations to come, I tell you, the native is back. It's us to be in harmony with the world, with the nature, and to bring love, to bring freedom, to bring the soul. Mind blowing ring. Yes, Absolutely that's who we are. Yeah. That's why we are here. Yes. Beautiful. And you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, baby. <laughs> You're great. Thank you. And you. Yes. Wow. Powerful. We've... Catherine, do you want to come in? Yes. So, first, I just want to say congratulations. You are the Solari Report Hero of the Year. You made an extraordinary difference to millions of people in 2021. Thank you. And I think, what? I think that is going to accelerate in 2022 because um, one of the most, one of the characteristics that's most important to us is integrity. And you make this method sound easy and simple. But if you look at the history of your figuring it out and creating it and developing it and then teaching the scientists and the doctors, that was not simple. That took many, many years. And the beauty of it is first you proved it on yourself. So tell us a, just a little bit about what that journey was like because you never gave up until you found it. It's quite extraordinary. Exactly. The, I think if I dive back, it was my mother saying at my birth, wherein they weren't aware there was a second one. I was the second one. <laughs> So it was too deep inside, or, and I didn't notice that back then they had only these uh, wooden trumpets. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they fig didn't figure it out. But, uh, uh, so I was almost born too late. Right. So you know what happens? It suffocates. It, 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 there's a, a, a less amount of oxygen getting in, and it needs to get out. So they thought, uh, we, we need to go to the operation room. Mm -hmm. And just before entering in that, my mother was very pious, big believer in God, and uh, 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 but also very afraid at that moment because they were going to uh, uh, do a cesarean and cut and all the speed and the pushing and uh, all that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, imagine that in the cold of a hole, I was born just pushed out with the words, Oh God, let this child live. I will make him a missionary. Uh -huh. Here I am. I am the missionary. And uh, uh, it's not me, man. It was a, a piece of little purple nothing coming out with that invocation. That is prayer. a tattoo. Yeah. That's the mother you just saw in the cave. Uh -huh. The femininity. That is so powerful. Mm -hmm. That is able to fulfill the purpose of the universe itself. We, man, we are just extension tools, therefore. <laughs> so I just do what I got to do. And I will do it with all my love and all my conviction, all my passion uh, for my mother. 
But you overcame disease, you overcame sadness and grief yes. and loss. So if you look at all the things you were dealing with, there's no one in the planet who can say, you know, it, you've dealt with it and it yes. worked. Yes, yes. I, I had to deal with it. And there's this, you know, love is a great power. Right. And uh, the greatest power, actually, because there is no power that goes beyond that. Let's think about that a moment. Is there? I don't think so. No. So, uh, <clears throat> that, uh, uh, now, uh, uh, I had to take care of four children alone mm -hmm. after my wife suicided. She was the love of my life. And then uh, it is suddenly gone. You're, my mind was devastated. I could not deal, simply not deal with it. And that's your mind. With, uh, uh, with that, you got to control life. Right. That, uh, life as it was, I wasn't, uh, the control was completely gone, uh, devastated. But there is no time. I got to uh, take care of four children and no money. So I went into the cold and much more consciously because I found in the cold, the, uh, that was the only moment that this emotional, agonizing uh, 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 mind and body, because the, really a broken heart is physical. Uh, uh, that physical agony, only when I went into the icy cold water, I, I, I was surviving. I was not into this emotional agony. And that broke the wheel of that agony. And, and with that, suddenly uh, I became very conscious of that fact. So I went uh, back every day, uh, sometimes more, more times a day, just to have a time with myself, just to have a break and then take care of my child. The result was that I found out so much energy, right. so healthy, so strong, never sick, always at the disposal of my four little, beautiful, little, yeah, cute little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm working with them right now. I call my oldest son, he's 38, the biggest asshole of the world, but we have a great uh, 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 chemistry. We got a, a company that uh, reaches out to 100 million people now. And a beautiful website. Okay, and the website is nice. That's what he did. He's still a bloody asshole. But uh, <laughs> that's besides over there. No, I love him. I love my kids. I work with them. And, uh, but back then, I had to take care of them. And uh, that was the love. The love came through the call. So in 2021, we've watched many powerful forces try and persuade us to adopt an inhuman culture, an inhuman civilization. And the reason you're the Salir Report Hero of the Year is here is this one person busting through all of it and saying, you know, we're going to build a human civilization because we're powerful and we can find that power in ourselves. We don't need all of this baloney. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. The, the absolutely the dependency of peoples, the, the paradigm of dependency has come to an end. They are now trying to get us all vaccinated. Hey man, millions of years we took. We got an immune system. Have I heard of that? <laughs> it's there and it's very capable of dealing with viruses, bacteria, back cells, emotional stress, mental stress, any stress. And that's why we go now, we go uh, through the love. Hey, by, by the way, that's my little one. Yeah, uh, just right. open the door and then you see my little one. Yeah, my oldest one is 38. My youngest one is four years old. Look, look at this. Nuni, come here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nuni, come. Ah. Look, at, look at hell. You can't, you can't break the soul. The soul is eternal, unbreakable. Let's get back to humanity. The way nature meant it to be is to live this soul. And this time, a, a, a happy man is not into belonging. Happy man doesn't go to war. But an unhappy man goes to war. And how an unhappy man uh, wants more, more, more. And then he takes what is not his. And uh, now, stop it. Stop this iPhones. My. Hello. Yeah, Scotland Yard. <laughs> yeah. uh, remind me. Remind me. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, thing is, 
going back to the soul, we have a core inside of us that is able to go bypass all what is artificially happening with us. There's created dependency. We can just retrieve like a turtle. When there is danger, you go in. And when it's okay again, you go out and walk, etc. There are some forces uh, trying to make a controlling uh, society, but humanity has a purpose on this earth. And that purpose is going to be lived because the soul is stronger than power, control, or anything like that. So let's get back there, let's get two cents, rise from the dead, or from being mesmerized. We are no lemmings, we are humans. We don't go follow, hey, dedo, 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 the new generations are waiting for us. <laughs> it's like, they don't wait for us. They want to be taken care of. Are we the ones to protect innocence? Yes, we are. We got all the power. And it's very simple. It's there. The soul. Thanks so Cut. much. Wow. It's Great. So touching. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Lady. <laughs> Bim, thank you. Amazing. We hope you got inspired by Wim Hof speaking and will try it out for yourselves. From my own experience and as someone who probably like you, uh, has had quite a resistance to the cold, I cannot recommend this step strongly enough. It will give you a form of resilience, um, clarity and freedom that you may not have otherwise deemed possible. I would just like to add a few elements to help highlight the conversation and some of the things that Wim said. You now know that the Wim Hof method consists of three main elements, the cold exposure, the breathing and a shift of consciousness. At the beginning, Wim talks about the effect of exposing ourselves to the cold and how this small discomfort helps us get in touch with deeper parts of the brain, those brain areas called the limbic system that control the autonomic nervous system. These are the brain areas that connect to our deeper selves our emotions, our pain and pleasure perception, and thus play a major role in motivation and reward behavior, but also in decision-making and in our outlook or perspective on life. The neural center of temperature perception and control or thermoregulation in the brain is very close to the area of where the pain receptors are situated. That is where no chiception, the perception of pain, is regulated. These no receptors are pH sensitive and will activate in response to acidity in the system. Increased alkalinity attenuates their activity and therefore increases pain tolerance. This temporary and possibly also long-term alkalinity is an important effect of the breathing exercises and has far-reaching implications for cellular health altogether. The brain areas of particular interest are the periaqueductal gray area, which is involved in the release of specific hormones and neurochemicals that can inhibit or modulate pain sensation. This involves so-called dopaminergic neurons and opioid receptors that are activated or excited in pleasure and pain moments. Interestingly, 
this same region is also the brain circuit that scientists are relating to spirituality. The periaqueductal gray is, in addition, connected to the vagus nerve uh, that is toned by the ice baths and cold shower exercises, especially when you get, can get your head into the cold water, toning thus the vagus. The periaqueductal gray surrounds the so-called cerebral aqueduct, which is a most important canal or conduit in the brain for the cerebrospinal fluid. This cerebrospinal fluid itself is affected by the breathing rhythm, which results in stronger fluid flows and helps its circulation throughout the brain and the spinal column. The peri Aqueductal gray is also the area and that whole surrounding that gets increased blood flow by the breathing technique that you will do as you practice the Wim Hof method, especially the part of the hold upon the inhalation and squeezing to the head. Now for the cardiovascular. Wim mentions in the interview that if you were to stretch out all the veins, arteries, capillaries from the body into one length, it would be over 66,000 miles or over 100,000 kilometers, which is stretching 2.5 times around the planet Earth. So in the cold exposure, each of these capillaries and vascular vessels are contracted and expanded and the little muscles around each of these vessels that enable the contraction and expansion are exercised. So when we do the cold exposure and when we do the breathing we produce those hormones and neurotransmitters that allow us to be more alert, to be more present and to be capable, competent in life. The breathing that we are doing every day now as we embark upon the Wim Hof method produces double the amount of epinephrine or adrenaline than a first time bungee jump and that every day. This means that we can be reset beyond our environmental and interior conditioning. So what happens during the particular Wim Hof breathing practice? When we talk about breath, we mostly think of the oxygen uptake it provides. This is a main component of breathing, to bring in enough oxygen that will then be bound in red blood cells to the iron atom in the heme molecule and be transported to the organs and cells. This fuels the ATP production in the mitochondria. The oxygen is the actual agent fueling cellular respiration or metabolism of oxygen and nutrient molecules into energy. Here's a very interesting recent study that calls for a re-evaluation of the function of molecular oxygen in energy production. So when we breathe in air, the oxygen that reaches the alveoli in the lungs diffuses into the bloodstream and the carbon dioxide, which is an end product or waste of cellular respiration or energy metabolism diffuses back from the pulmonary capillaries into the air of the lungs to be exhaled. There's a constant gas exchange going on and the partial pressures of oxygen and carbon dioxide remain more or less constant in our normal breathing. When we do the Wim Hof breathing with its strong in-breath of 30 or 40 times and easy out-breath. The effect is both a full capacity of oxygen in the lungs 
but also a lower CO2 content in the blood, which momentarily changes the acid-base homeostasis. The body becomes alkaline, and for a while the urge to take a breath, which sets in when CO2 in the blood reaches a certain level, is reduced. So in the Wim Hof breathing you have on the one hand a belated urge to take a breath due to lowered CO2 levels, but also you have in the breath hold lowered oxygen levels, which activates the response of the autonomic nervous system. And this is where Wim refers to the groundbreaking endotoxin study with E. coli bacteria that was carried out at Radboud University in Nijmegen. We should look at this study a little more closely. The study was carried out in 2014 at the Institute for Infection, Inflammation and Immunity of Radboud University Medical Center and it involved 12 participants who were trained by Wim Hof within the short period of less than a week to practice the breathing and cold exposure mindset. Also involved was a group of 12 untrained individuals who acted as a control. Participants of both groups received intravenous inactivated E. coli bacteria that are not lethally poisonous but will still elicit a strong immune response in the body. Usually people who undergo experimental human endotoxemia will for a period of a few hours get intense symptoms of sickness, headaches, nausea, fever, uncontrollable body shivering, and will feel very weak throughout the experiment. Wim in 2011 and the group of 12 individuals trained by him in 2014 were the first to display no symptoms at all and manifesting very different blood parameters throughout. The most obvious parameter was the remarkable increase in epinephrine in the blood, in the trained group. And what is noticeable is that the epinephrine or adrenaline had peaked in the trained participants already before and at the time code zero, which marks the onset of the bacterial injection. This is the time when they started their breathing techniques. Here we see the mean data curve for the trained and untrained individuals. Untrained individuals began to produce adrenaline in response to the endotoxin only way into the experiment. Quote, practicing the learned techniques resulted in intermittent respiratory alkalosis and hypoxia, resulting in significantly increased plasma epinephrine levels. The raised levels of epinephrine limits the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-6, interleukin-8 and tumor factor alpha while the anti-inflammatory interleukin-10 is greatly increased. This leads to a marked decrease of inflammatory response and reaction symptoms. Notice also how fast this works, namely within the first hour, the immune system is on top of what is going on. In addition, White blood cell counts were taken, and despite the decreased inflammatory response, white blood cells were not reduced. On the contrary, the higher levels of epinephrine in the blood triggered an increase in white blood cells, 
which is indication that the immune system is perfectly active, even though seemingly the body does not respond to the inflammatory agent. Onze belangrijkste conclusie ja, dat we nu voor het eerst heel duidelijk en ja, onomstotelijk feitelijk hebben aangetoond dat een mens dus wel in staat is om zijn autonome zenuwstelsel en zijn immuunrespons op een vrijwillige manier te beïnvloeden. En dat was echt iets wat in de tekstboeken staat, dat kan niet. Nee, dus alle boeken moeten opnieuw uh, geschreven worden. Ja. Ja, ja. <laughs> zo simpel. Ik denk het wel. So, both breathing and cold have their own benefits. And when brought together, there is a profound connection to the deeper neurology and that which we thought is beyond, or perhaps rather below, our control. This too has been shown in a scientific study and further studies are on the way. The study by Otto Musik and Weiberth Divadka of Wayne State University Medical School in Michigan carried out with functional MRI measurements was looking at what happens in the brain and body during cold exposure. A special suit that was filled with cold and hot water introduced temperature variations while Wim's body and brain were scanned while lying in MRI and PET machines. What was found was surprising, namely that the periaqueductal gray area was activated in ways not seen before. This is a kind of hacking of those midbrain areas that, as mentioned earlier, are connected with endocannabinoids and opioids uh, that the brain itself produces. The response, according to the scientists, is due to the combination of two stressors, the breath hold and the cold threat. We produce a double reset of the nervous system and thus begin to go into deeper levels of conscious mastering. At the end, of the interview, Wim refers again to the generations and genetic and epigenetic factors. This is yet unpublished work that is being carried out at the University of California, San Francisco, that shows how the reset of conditioning that is achieved through the breath and the cold will in fact influence gene expression and protect the chromosomal telomeres. Now let us go into the practice of the Wim Hof technique with the breathing every day and the cold showers that will bring us more health, greater strength and resilience and a happy outlook throughout our lives. Pull in. Letting go. Pull in. Letting go. <sighs>